Hi there, doll friends. Today I want to show you some of my favorite dolls that have really unique hairstyles. I have several others, so I will be showing you them in a later video. First, let me show you one of my very early dolls. Um, this doll was made around 1840 by the Kessner Company. She's 28 inches tall. She has the center part hairdo, which was the uh, style back then. Very heavy side swoops, which ended in a beautiful braided bun. Look at that. There is a special thing about this doll. Her name is Mary Lawrence, and this is why. She came with her provenance. Mary Lawrence departed this life April the 5th, 1852, aged about 56 years. That's pretty old for back then. Anyway, I got her um, on a different body that was damaged, which is another thing I wanted to talk to doll people about is that don't be afraid that if you have a doll that has, you know, damages, uh, her body's broken up, her arm is broken or her leg is broken. If you can find a similar antique body that suits better, um, I think it's a good idea to change it. This lady doll was on a stumpy body, totally wrong. She needed a lady's body. This is a lady doll for sure. And I found an antique doll body with a slender waist and larger hips, which is what a woman would have had. And um, I took her shoulder, her head off and replaced her on this body, which is much better. It is antique. Let me show you her, her cute shoes. <laughs> and she has an old uh, Civil War little purse of silk that I found. The name says Isabel, which is Spanish for Elizabeth, my sister's name. And the next doll here is uh, the first doll my husband bought for me for Christmas almost 20 years ago. And look at the beautiful, heavily stroked brow line, brown eyes. Of course, she has lots of jewelry. She's my doll. I put a lot of jewelry on all my girls. Um, this dress was made for her. It is a really heavy square shoulder plate. It's jutting out of her jacket. Um, it's because of the stand. But I had a friend recreate um, a dress for her. And I put the antique buttons. And let me turn her around so you can see how beautiful her hair is. She has an awesome, awesome side swooping hairstyle as well with the braided bun. She's also 28 inches tall. Here's another example of a very unusual hairstyle. This is another lady doll, heavily stroked brows, 1840. Look at the side of her face. And then notice, this is what they call a waterfall hairstyle. Try to get up close. Look at that. It's just, she's so super cool. She's about 27 inches tall. And here is uh, Miss Liberty, Lady Liberty. Uh, So-called referred to because of the coronet, the diadem in her hair that has a raspberry pink luster. Look at those heavy curls. Let me try to get close. Can you see that she has upper and lower lashes? and multi-stroke brows. She also has molded earrings. I found her just as a head and I put a body and dressed her. Look at that hairdo. That's another version of a waterfall. And notice that she has the ribbons that dangle down the side onto her shoulder plate. This little girl here 
has a very beautiful hairstyle. A braided coronet up to, this is an ABG. She has the molded blouse, see, molded jewelry. And another fabulous hairstyle, a lover's knot. It's absolutely stunning. And I can show you some pictures of ladies back then. This is a very old daguerreotype. Notice all the jewelry, the lockets, the pins, and the center parted hairstyle, kind of like Mary Lawrence. I collect photographs of, of women of that time period, and I do it to reference my dolls and to see how the dolls were, you know, reflected what was uh, in style back then. Anyway, I have lots more to show, but I can only do a few at a time because of my cabinet space. And sorry about my dogs barking, but um, my dog's name is Ricky Ricardo. <laughs> He's a real loud one and uh, loves to bark at the, the birds that feed at my feeder. So I apologize for that, but he's a little barky bark dog. Anyway, take care, and I will show you some more dolls as soon as I can get set up. Thanks again. Bye-bye.